So. Hello everybody, so we were just repositioning as we started there. Um, what we've got here is just the, the two sub-adults cubs of uh, the spot female of the Marsh Pride and a whole lot of hyenas. Spot loves here and she's gone off to go and lie in the shade leaving the youngsters to deal with all these hyenas. Yes, we're live Johnny. So got Jackson and Dominic here, so we've got lots of people to answer questions if you want to ask questions. It is a bit windy, I'm afraid, so it's going to be noisy. Just these two subs, well, one of them is male, but it's not the full grown, obviously. Um, two cubs of spot. Are here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, more than 20, more than 20, and yes, they probably could drive these two young lions off. They do have full stomachs, the lions, so they're not going to be too bothered if they get chased away. It'd be the North Claim with the wrong side of the river. Um, this would be, I don't know, we're, we're on top of Rhino Ridge. If that helps anybody who knows the hyena clans in the area. has been in the mud. That's why it's so dark. How many jackals are around this? Two at least. Uh, the jackal knows that uh, it's not a threat to anybody. As long as it doesn't get too close to any of them, it's going to be fine. That's a wildebeest they're eating. Young male 
Emil Sabadot is now making his way away from the carcass towards where his mother is, which is behind us here somewhere, and uh, leaving the young female behind, which makes it more likely that the hyenas are going to be able to take over. familiar with each other, they either they've probably met each other many times by sharing a territory. And, uh, hyenas and lions interact a lot. Do hyenas ever eat their young? The hyena babies uh, in the same litter will often try and kill each other and meat is meat so if one baby does kill another baby it's entirely likely that the other hyena would consume the one that's dead but they don't often kill and eat their own offspring on purpose maybe from another yeah I'm just trying to get an idea of the, the, the hyenas in the background that's why we zoomed out if they do move off or if they take over, I'll zoom into the eating. How long the lions have been having this little feast? We arrived here, they were just sleeping next to it. Um, uh, they already have very full bellies at that point. And uh, we've been here probably 20 minutes, half an hour before anything started happening. And once the big lioness got up and left, then all the hyenas came in. I'm sure they killed this early this morning, had their fill and just been lying around. It's very open, there's no shade anywhere, so that's why the, the mother's gone off, she's probably gone off into the shade. female's going to eat for. Um, like I say, she did have a very full belly beforehand. She's just eating for the sake of eating because the hyenas are around. If they do come any closer, I'm sure she'd leave it for them. So one is trying to sneak in a little bit closer. The young male is still here, just in the water behind us. So he might come back. Hyenas still not coming in, they know the mother is near, yeah, that's, that's likely um, the reason, and they know the young male is here. Um, you know, they are quite timid, they're not going to try and pick a fight unless they have to. I think they're, they're just waiting, they know something's going to be left for them if, the, if this young lioness gets up, they'll be in and off with that meat very quickly. Male's coming back, he's gonna have a go at these hyenas. Here we go. The reserve, only the hyena researchers really name the clans. Uh, in the triangle side, I know the clans have names, but not here. Son and daughter of Spot, not Rembo. And Spot was here. She's just watching from a distance. I can't see where she is now, but she was here.
like most of the hyenas are moving away now with the young male coming back but if he gets up now and leaves again they will start heading in again and he is moving off let's zoom in a little bit there What time is it out here? It's about midday, isn't it? Somewhere there? What does Jackson's watch say? Oh, no, only 11 o'clock, 10 to 11. How old are these lions? Um, what are they now? Two. Two years old. Son and daughter of six-pack? Yes. Yes, they would be six-pack offspring. The jackal's trying to come in and grab a little bit. Two jackals coming in to try and grab a little bit. How much is left of the kill? Probably less than half of it. <laughs> jackals aren't quite that brave. All the hyenas are just going off, also looking for some shade now. Still a couple hanging around. So I think they've realized they're not going to get... We lost you there for a second. Um, yeah, as it gets hotter, and it is going to get hotter, it's the middle of the day. I'm sure that the lions are going to want more and more to head into the shade, or like this young male is doing behind us, sitting in the puddle in the water. The hyenas are just going to be patient and they'll come back in when they think they've got a chance. Any vultures around? Yeah, there's one hooded vulture that I can see. It's a bit far for this camera to pick it up. And uh, there were a couple of others circling around, and there's a wildebeest okay. running straight into us here. It could be interesting. Can I show you from different side? No, no, the, the light will be wrong on any other side. We have to stick to the roads, etc., etc. She's moving there. So she's going to try and take this maybe into the mud. It is a wildebeest, it is not a buffalo. Where are the Bela Shaka on the other side of the river? I don't know. Haven't seen them, I've been here a week, haven't seen them yet. So she's left the meat there. Young male, is he going to do something with it? The 
there's still a couple of hyenas right around her here so if this male doesn't pick up the kill and go with it then the hyenas are going to take over just now and he is picking it up So if I'm not answering all your questions right now, the, the angle that the camera's at, I can't see what's on screen. So, so if you guys can read what they're saying there. Just move the camera a bit, this might wobble. There we go. Question there, any lion cubs around? Not here, not where we are, but there are obviously lion cubs in some of the brides around. Okay, going right behind us now, into the water place to store it. I think we're going to have to move the vehicle. Just bear with us whilst we move around a bit. It's going to be wobbly and noisy and stuff. See there, they've dropped this kill now in, in a muddy puddle. Um, keep it out of the sun. Keep it away from the hyenas. They're all very much interested again now. It's more common for hyenas to stow their kills in a muddy puddle than it is for lions. So it's quite interesting to see. make it a little bit harder the hyenas do rush in suddenly for the lions to grab it and get out because now it's in a hole lost you again there
if you can hear over the wind, but they, both these lions are panting quite heavily because of the heat and the effort that they've just used, both of them taking turns to drag the kill. making a game that takes place in the Masai Mara. That sounds interesting. Just let me know how it goes. Yes, the hyenas are very patient. They know when to pick a fight and when not to. And yeah, that is one of the reasons they're successful. Uh, although another clan of hyenas that we came across this morning uh, had killed a zebra overnight and lost it to lions. So it's only fair that these ones might get this uh, kill away from these lions. They're not making any sounds at the moment, the hyenas. That's, that's why they are uh, so silent, because they are being silent. Um, they've got no reason to make any sound. They're all here. All, all the individuals are here. They don't need to call one another. Um, they were making a bit of noise earlier when they were trying to push the lions off the first time, but it's all calmed down a bit now. Have I seen a hyena thin and old? I've seen many animals thin and old. Hyenas, lions, whatever. That's what happens when they get old. dig a hole to get in there. Um, I think they both want to be in the water to, to keep cool. Have I seen Scarface? We went to look for him yesterday, um, but we got sidetracked with the wildebeest crossing, so we're probably going to look for him again tomorrow. Uh, he is around. He is looking good from what I hear. Does have new cubs. What is the temperature there? It's hot, that's all I can tell you. Um, I don't know, it's probably um, high 20s, maybe even early 30s. Any Mopoko bloodline left? Not in the Mara, mate. Not in the Mara. There's no Mopokos out here. Did the six Brecks still control this pride? Apparently they do come and visit every now and then, but there's two other males that are hanging around between the Topi pride and the Marsh pride um, that obviously haven't been a threat to these sub-adults, but uh, He said the, the shade, the only shades are the couple of trees on top of the ridge behind us, and that's where the mother's gone. Hyena could attack, I don't think they will yet. I think they're just going to try and push a little bit closer. Some of them are making noise. Scarface does not look like Scar from The Lion King, he's much prettier. Got a 
beautiful, beautiful mane. down and getting hotter we are also going to be calming down why are there no trees we're on top of a, a of a hill um, it's very rocky which means the the trees can't put down decent roots if I zoom out a little bit and you look in the background I don't know if you can see because it's quite small but there's a lot of trees down at the bottom there uh, along the riverine area but there, there's very little can grow up here except grass and rocks are a lot less brave when there's two lions there. When there's one they come in close, when there's two they're all up and looking to move away. Are there any males in this pride? There's no males with the pride at the moment. The, the five Bilashaka males hardly spend any time here. Uh, the two new males, Halftail and Logol, they'll come into the area every now and then but they don't seem to be too interested in taking this pride uh, or this part of this pride. I don't know what's happening down in the marsh itself with the rest of the marsh pride. Uh, how many members of the core marsh pride? We'll have to ask Jackson that. Jackson, yeah. how many lions are left in the marsh pride right now? Not including these three. All right, uh, so uh, together now there is uh, Dada, Kito, Tabibi. And uh, rainbow. So there are four, there are eight in total together with the uh, four subordinates. Okay, so if you could hear that, um, that was Jackson saying, uh, in the core Marsh Pride, which is not what we've got here, this is a bit of a breakaway, core Marsh Pride, four lionesses, four sub adults. And also, yeah, yeah, it's not also included there, yeah. the other two. Uh, two yeah. Two. So, yeah, you've got. Spot and her two here as, as a breakaway, they're often with Little Red, another lioness. And then Yaya and her two adult daughters are another breakaway. Um, and that, that makes up the total Marsh Pride at the moment. are eating. It's, it's a wildebeest. A wildebeest is an antelope, a large antelope. Uh, you can't see anything of what it is now with it being in the water and one line lying on top of it. But it is there. Under those two. Guys, there's no weapons allowed in the bush. So if you're not going to come into the bush without a weapon, you're not going to come into the bush. One male, one female. Marco. 
one of each. Male sitting up and the female lying down underneath him. I don't think it would make any difference if it was at night because the lions have just as good a night vision as the hyenas do. And the hyenas are also starting to look for shade or somewhere to cool off. See a lot of them in front here are in the mud. There's some more mud behind us. The ones that are moving off are going behind us to the mud behind us. Everybody talking about weapons is going to get this video flagged by YouTube, so um, that's not very helpful. How do you eat if you pack a lunch? Won't the animals smell it? Um, the birds come and join us. And if we ate near monkeys and baboons, they'd come and join us. But the lions don't care about some sandwiches. Can hyenas break through the skulls and horns of their prey? They can. Um, they'll break into the skulls to get the brains if there's anything left there. Uh, the horns, technically, yes, they could, but they won't. There's no nutritional value there. Are we going to go to another pride in this stream? Uh, not in this particular stream. If we leave here, which we will do probably in the next few minutes, uh, um, we'll turn the stream off because you don't want to see us driving for half an hour uh, going over bumpy roads. And if we find more, we do have signal, I'll turn the stream on again. Um, but for now, I do think we are going to leave here. It's getting hot. We're very exposed. I'm getting sunburned. So thank you all for joining and we will hopefully get some more later. We are going to go and check on uh, the big lion log puppet on the way back to camp. If there's signal there, he did have a zebra this morning, maybe we'll uh, get to see him. Any other predators other than the lions and hyenas? Um, the jackals were here, they've gone. I um, don't know where they've gone. And, and that was it. But okay, we are going to go. Thank you very much everybody.